Hey, everybody. Welcome. Hello, hello, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. Uh, today we are, oh, sorry about that, but we want to welcome you guys to NCRF TV's Elevate Your Game series. We are here to help boost your knowledge and your network and with industry experts. We're going to touch on some opportunities. We're going to give out some resources and some information, and it's all genuinely just to help you grow. So a quick reminder, if you are watching via Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, you can leave comments. We will see them and we will respond. So if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, we will see them and they will be addressed. And today our topic is masterclass. So if you don't know what masterclass is, we're going to get into it. But basically, you will get to learn from industry experts. They will become your teachers. So to start us off today, here's our internship and careers manager, Mrs. Denise Parker. Hi, everybody. I am here technical difficulties just trying a new system sorry about that for the delay i don't like being late but i'm here to just share with you the amazing opportunities we have with our master class series but before we get into it our wonderful fam you student miss faith she has some special announcements so back to you faith Okay, so we're going to start off our announcements with our HBCU Fun Fact, which is brought to you by the National College Resources Foundation. And tonight's HBCU is Hampton University, and it is located in Hampton, Virginia, and they are one of the top five HBCUs for journalism. Uh, so their Scripps Howard School of Journalism was built with a vision to produce ethical and competitive leaders equipped to practice excellence and innovation in multimedia technology while adhering to the core principles of journalism and communications. So the Scripps Howard School of Journalism and Strategic Communications is equipped with a professional television studio and control room, a live FM radio station with digital streaming to the internet, and five media labs, including two Mac labs. So. If you are looking for a school that is built with the equipment to help you succeed and get your hands in a little bit of everything, Hampton seems like the school to go to. And so their professors have professional backgrounds varying from the New York Times, the Washington Post, Inside Edition, Atlantic Records, MTV Network, Cox Communication, CBS, and PBS. Each professor teaches in an intimate class, no more than 15 to 25 students allowing each student personalized attention and the opportunity to establish valuable relationships. So if you're looking for a school with small classes where you can connect with your, your peers as well as your professors, you know, get your one-on-one -on -one attention, then Howard seems like it has the program for you in journalism or strategic communications. All righty, moving on to the rest of our announcements. If you, um, if you would like to hear more about our Elevate Your Game series, if you would like to have the opportunity to connect with our presenters one-on-one -on -one with mentorship, internships, opportunities, um, anything that they have for, um, really anything that they have to offer, you can go ahead, scan that QR code, become an incubator, and hear from us weekly on our series. All right, next we have our medical terminology course. So if you are looking to go into the medical field and you would like to know the terminology that they use, what prefixes, suffixes mean um, in terms of healthcare, this is a course for you. You will get a certificate at the end of it. It is free, but space is limited. So if you would like to register, scan that QR code, or you can email me or the email on the screen and receive the link directly. All right, I have something to add to that. So this medical terminology course that we're doing um, starts at the end of this month is taught by our wonderful um, ambassador, Miss Larise Washington, who is a nurse practitioner and she is very knowledgeable and skilled. Um, it's a fun and innovative class. You guys are calling our our office and we love it that you're calling our office but we want to make sure that you guys register because that's exactly how you're going to get the information directly to you after you register 
But once you register, you should get a letter saying you have welcome to the class. If you haven't, then you definitely want to reach out to our office and or myself or Faith. It'll get to us and we'll direct it to our your professor. Um, super excited for it. So please sign up. Back to you, Faith. All righty. And our next announcement is about our Pride and Joy, our Latino College Expo. It is happening at Cal Poly Pomona, September 10th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is free admission. So if you are looking for college application help, financial aid help, or would just like to see what it's like, talk you to some college recruiters and get to know what different schools are um, offering, then go ahead and sign up, register. And again, it is free 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 and nothing is better than a free event um so go ahead register join for free and get all this wonderful information that the recruiters have to offer okay the third good marshall college fund is having their scholarships this is a great resource if you're looking for scholarships they will upload scholarships all the time throughout the year for college students and especially hbcu students uh, they have a wonderful program for ambassadors for hbcu students um, but right now they have two scholarships open they opened august 1st and they close october 1st that deadline is coming in close so please please apply get the money it's free money and nothing is better than free money. So go ahead, scan that QR code, apply for those scholarships and see what you win. Okay, so we have a great supporter, the Lynx, um, sorry, the Lynx program. They are having their construction internship so LAX Integrated Express Solutions is looking for college juniors and seniors, offering them a paid internship to help work on the People Automated Mover Project. Oh, sorry, the Automated People Mover Project. Um, so again, like I said, it is a paid internship. So if you're interested in construction, structural and um, civil engineering, structural engineering, mechanical engineering, anything that will have you hands on building or designing, you can go ahead, scan that QR code, submit your resume, and we will send it right over to the recruiter. All right, next we have something that just came across our desk. It is the Youth Beat Film Apprenticeship. It starts in two days, and so they, um, it's two days, from August 20th till December 16th, I believe. You do get Thanksgiving week off. It is paid with a monthly stipend. So if you're interested in film or any type of digital media, you can go ahead and apply. Unfortunately, this is not for all. If you are attending a four-year four -year university, they, um, they're looking more towards the community college or trade school. Um, so it is not for those attending a four-year university, um, but if you are 18 to 25 years old, you can go scan that QR code, see what they're looking for, and if, it, if you can apply, apply, and have this wonderful opportunity working with film. All right, and for next week, Elevate Your Game is going to be exploring the advancing world of artificial intelligence. So we have Dr. Patrick Dix, who will be telling us all about how artificial intelligence and automation is advancing, it's expanding, and how that may affect different careers along the way and how you should start looking into engineering and seeing how you can get a career that won't be negatively affected by the advancement of artificial intelligence and automation. So if you're interested, you can scan that QR code or become an incubator and get all the information on how you can join live and ask questions. It will be happening next week on Thursday, August 25th 
at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that is the West Coast, California, or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is the East Coast, Florida, New York, all along that Eastern border. All right. Alrighty. You and announcement, so we're gonna take it right back to Mrs. Denise. Thank you so much. I think you did a wonderful job. Are we ready to discuss the Masterclass series? Yes, yes. Everybody's excited. Thumbs up. If I can see people in the backstage, I see you guys back there. Give me your thumbs up on your cameras. I can see you. Or yes, there you go. Thumbs it up. We're super excited. Okay, so if you guys haven't heard of this series, we're going to just get right into it. I just want to introduce to you what is Masterclass and how we got about, how did we come about uh, doing this? I still have this flyer up. It's really busy, I know, but that QR code will get you to join our backstage so that you can ask more questions related to Masterclass. We're going to show some snippet of commercials so that you can know more about what the series is, entails. I'm pretty sure you've seen it on IG, on Facebook, LinkedIn. It's been promoted everywhere on social media. And now it's live and in person, and we have up to 500 memberships to give out. Yes, 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 free memberships up to a year. So pay attention to all the guidelines because we don't want you to get charged if you decide not to renew your uh, annual membership. So anywho, let's get to it. I'm going to turn down our music just a little bit so you guys can focus. I'm going to load up masterclass series and we're just gonna just start the conversation and faith have you seen masterclass like what do you like about it so i can just hear from a young person like yourself like what do you like about it um from the bit that i've explored on masterclass i haven't actually done a class yet but from the bit i've explored on masterclass i like how there is a wide variety of subjects. You can look at stuff talking about sports, about writing, about film, about cooking, um, about streaming, just live streaming in general. So there's a wide variety of things to hear and listen to, as well as a wide variety of people to hear from. Um, mm -hmm. So you may see something from Serena Williams, but she's not exactly talking about tennis. Um, so, you know, it's just a wide variety. You get to see people who have their hand in everything. And so it's really cool to see. Excellent. So we're just going to, I'm going to start by going to their IG page, their Instagram page, because they have all these cool videos that kind of explore what Masterclass is. So just bear with us. Can you guys see my screen? Faith, can you see my screen that I'm sharing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So... The masterclass has so many different industry experts coming from all walks of life. There's business, there's entertainment, there's communications, journalism is including and media, mass media, um, arts, uh, culinary, uh, you name it. You, I mean, you got to think political, um, food. You, sports, you name it. So here are some of the sessions that you can see there. You know, you have all these famous people here. Oh, look at writing Amanda Gorman. Oh my God. Wonderful. So let's just show you some stuff and just look at what it is to be in the masterclass series. And then we're going to have you ask some questions and see how you can just join in on this wonderful skill learning okay so give me a second i'm just going to pop up some beautiful artwork here and i'm going to turn it on to the volume let me see if i can get that going mind you trying to get it to do what it's supposed to do and it's not going to do it the way i want it so we're going to go back go back to the reels here we go aha here we go Nice. So the latest person that they added was um, Miss Melinda French Gates, um, who owns the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who started that. And you know who she is. Of course, it's former presidents and um, political figures. Um, of course, 
you know, Miss Jenner herself, don't mess with her. She has a whole masterclass series. And then we have Amanda Gorman. So Faith, who do you want to hear from first? So we can kind of look at it. There's Issa Rae. There's Mariah Carey. Um, an interesting one that I wanted to take a look at is the one with Questlove from The Roots. Okay. Um, I believe this is like a little farther down on their page. Sure. Let I wanted to see what you have to say um, in regards to music. Okay, let's get into if I can find Questlove. It's loading, it's loading. As I scroll, you'll see all the masterclass participants. And I'm using this platform because it was easier than going to their website. Their website is really a lot. So here, let me just start by just introducing masterclass in general. So we're going to go here. Welcome to Masterclass First Love. Tonight, Tonight, we're going to give you unprecedented access to Master Class. Please, Please put, put your, your hands, hands together, together for Christina Aguilera. What you see in Master Class is our heroes teaching us what they wish they had been taught. Our members trust us to bring them the world's best, to find the stories and the people they can't access anywhere else. We've worked, worked hard over the past six years to build a diverse roster of instructors and subjects that challenge our members. Together, these leaders will teach us Black history uncensored and unfiltered. Three years ago, I tweeted that I wanted to do a master class, and it ended up being thus far the best experience of my professional career. Unprecedented access. Oh, yeah. We love our work at Masterclass. There's nothing more satisfying than for us to see when people learn. We can say that we've done our best to set the stage, and now you. All right. I love it. So invigorating, inspiring, um, takes you to the next level. There's Nas there, there's Q and A's, you got Bobby Brown, the makeup artist, you just name it. It's the list goes on and on and on and on. And Questlove is way down here. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna pick one that I wanted, wanted to see that's more up here so we won't get too far along in our time. And then I'll, I'll introduce this to our special guest, which is our, our students, our young people, our industry change makers who are in the making. This series is a Black history series that I thought that was really innovative that I wanted to point, make a point to. Um, and you guys can watch what their series is about. That are deep and structural, that have to be confronted with the truth of who we are. I invite each and every one of you, listen to these different voices. Have the courage to say, hmm. Let me see what this wrestling with white supremacy and black love is all about. In this class, we are going to be focusing on these powerful issues. Together, you will learn how slavery and anti-blackness is foundational to nearly every American institution in modern life, even if we refuse to see it. You may hear things that you find hard to believe. They are a testament to parts of our history that we've dismissed. The story that you can tell about this country, about it being a land of equality and opportunity, who gave America that? We gave America that. There has been this unbroken history of struggle for liberation for hundreds of years. Black people managed to create beauty in the very process of fighting structural racism. Black love is that thing that makes you believe in American democracy, even when American democracy hasn't believed in us. One of our jobs is to try to make there be as little racism as possible. 
a more important job is to see where the racism is and think about ways that we can get past it. Race is a fiction. Racism is real. What do we do with that? And it's only in having that understanding of what built the country that we're in that we can dismantle the parts of our country that don't live up to its highest ideals. I'm John McWhorter. I'm Sherilyn Eiffel. I'm Jelani Cobb. Nicole Hannah-Jones. Kimberly Williams Crenshaw. Cornell West. I'm Angela Davis, and this is Masterclass. Ooh, powerful! How do you guys feel about that one? Too powerful, too powerful. And then we have some interesting ones that you'll never think that were interesting. And then they are, such as the writer of The Handmaid's Tale. If you're encountering a blockage, there are two things you can do. One is go to sleep. Tell yourself the problem. Go to sleep. When you wake up, you may well have the and another good thing is ironing. It's a repetitive manual activity. It's quite conducive to thoughts coming in from the, the sides, which is what you need when you've hit a block. It's always better to actually do something. You become a writer by writing. There is no other way. So do it, do it more. Do it again, do it better. Fail, fail better. Sit down at the keyboard, pick up the pen, rather than to brood about the fact that you're not doing it. Do it however crummy you may think the result may be. At least you're moving. Excellent. Um, Faith, what do you think about that one? I like how she said there was um, the method of irony of doing something repetitively and, you know, allowing yourself to just have those thoughts flow. Right. Right, uh, right. And I feel like that can go for anything other than just like, you know, writing of like continuously writing until you find something that sticks. Um, I feel like that's with anything really. You can find that one thing that you do repetitive until it gives you an idea of where to start. Mm -hmm. Excellent. But that one works really well. Um, this but is I found one. Go oh. ahead. Mm -hmm. um, I was gonna say, I found one on uh, Carlos Santana, which I think is amazing. Um, so I was going to ask if I could share. share one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll stop sharing and I'll let you share. Are you there? Are you sharing? Uh, getting ready to. Okay. And just before you get started, um, people are asking in the chat where there be um, a Q&A session. Yes, we're going to bring you on. We just want to show you some of the presenters for Masterclass so you can get really super uber duper excited. And that way you don't have any, you know, like regrets when you sign up. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Hey, my, you know what? That I learned from Body Guy. You know, uh, Body Guy can cuss, cuss. Uh, and it's important to do both, you know. Uh, hey, can you hear me? It gets you personally uh, yeah. out. Okay, stop it for a second because I'm going to take um, it, needs to be shared on the Chrome tab. So go when you share screen, do Chrome tab. Yeah, I did. Okay, for some odd reason, it's giving me an echo. I don't know why. I'm uh, gonna try to get. Maybe I need to mute on my. End. Yeah, mute you. See what. See if that works. I started from the beginning. There you go. Now you can pray, and you can cuss. Like, uh, you know, so that's praying. This is cussing. Hey, mother. Uh. Hey, 
mother, you know what? That I learned from Buddy Guy. You know, uh, Buddy Guy can cuss, cuss. Uh, and it's important to do both, you know. Uh, it, it gives you personality, you know. Now you can pray and you can cuss. Awesome. What did you like about Carlos Santana? What what was inspiring um, you? Well, account? I just like Carlos Santana just in general. Um, mm -hmm. love his Innovator. Music. I'm a big music person. So that, you know, stuck out for me, um, which is why I picked it. Uh, but yeah, that was that one. Let me show you guys the one with Michael Twitty. He is a, a historian slash oh culinary specialist and he uses let me just stop talking because he's amazing so and hopefully his will just pop up i'm trying to make sure we can expand them some of them can't expand to the fullness so give me a second i have a saying that your food is your flag food can tell us where we come from and who we are mm -hmm. I'm a culinary historian, historic interpreter, and the James Beard Award-winning author of The Cooking Chain. The last thing people will give up as they make journeys and migrations is their food culture. You have to look at one particular dish, and then you can trace it back to its origin story. And you ask the question, why did my family make that food? You begin to get a picture of how you're situated in a larger story. This class is not a full-on cooking school of African-American culinary technique. It's about new ways to express our relationship to food through writing, through storytelling, through genealogy. What you will learn is how to document your own food story and have a greater context for where we come from. Go to the eldest people who are able to tell you the stories and answer your questions. You're gonna have a moment where you close your eyes and you open them and that entire table will be surrounded by the people that populated that person's life. You have to be willing to go into the positive and negative aspects of your family history and journey if you really want to do this work. We have to talk about traumatic stuff, history, the concept of race, that potato famine, that Holocaust, that slave trade. That's, That's only part of the puzzle. puzzle. But in confronting the issues that come off of that, we become better because we understand what it took to get us here. What I'm trying to offer you is a little bit of insight so you can do your own journeying through food to find the ancestral wisdom in the kitchen that's right for you. And if I can do it, I hope that you will as well. I hope that you will have the strength to say that your story matters as much as mine does. I'm Michael Twitty, and this is Masterclass. Phenomenal. I, there are no words to describe some of these amazing architects of their craft. Um, I also found um, people who are scientists very interesting. Here's a mathematician that you probably would just glance over, but open your mind, open your possibility to where you're going and who you're going to meet. And the more you in, embody that energy where you want to meet more people and expose yourself to more things, guess what's going to happen? Your, your, your life is going to change. It's going to, what we call here, elevate your game. This is a mathematician. Um, and I want you guys to watch his masterclass. Oh, is the equivalent of a rock star in mathematics. Regarded as the greatest math. Sorry, it's Matician little... alive. As long as I can remember, I have always loved numbers and puzzles and patterns. Sometimes because of the way it's taught, the innate mathematical ability doesn't feel connected to the way we learn math. But I think we all have an innate ability for mathematics. Knowing how to think mathematically can be a tool that you can use to solve problems in a systematic way. 
I like to think that this class is for anyone, really. In fact, maybe this class is even more suitable for people who have not had formal mathematical training. I'm not going to give you homework. The way I approached problems in mathematics was to try to turn it into a game. A large part of this class will be about talking about problem solving. We abstract them, we break them up into pieces, we make analogies, we try to find connections with other problems. The first player who can collect three numbers that add up to 15 wins the game. Playing this game is quite challenging if you don't know the trick. You can transform this to a much more familiar game, tic-tac-toe. People often anthropomorphize mathematical objects. They call this guy the enemy, this guy is your friend. <laughs> Some people call them slightly more obscene names, okay? <laughs> In this class, you will appreciate a little bit more how what mathematics is, how we solve problems, and how some of these strategies can be of use to you in your daily life. The ideal problem to work on is one which is just barely outside of your reach. It's not so much whether you succeed or fail at a question, but it's, it's whether you can learn something from it. My name is Terence Tao, and this is Masterclass. Terence Tao amazing masterclass um, instructor. And one of the reasons why we're doing this whole series and introducing it. Um, I'm going to stop sharing now and let's just get to the questions. It's about that time for you guys to get more of your questions answered and how you guys can get your membership. Ooh -wee. So who wants to get on the live stream? Raise your hand, come off your camera, or at least give me a thumbs up. You do not have to be off your camera to be on the live stream. You could be like Faith or like myself and ask some questions and we can go from there. Oh, Dante, I'm adding you to the live stream. What's up, Dante? um hello when are we going to talk to industry professionals well industry professionals are not on this particular live stream if that was clear on our flyer but you will get access to the membership if you want it do you want it i wait i can't hear you i need to hear the yes yes i do want to have a free master pass Yes, Masterclass Pass. What? Where, where are you from? I'm from Manhattan. Wonderful New York. Excellent. Yep. And are you in college currently right now? I'm going to attend college next week. Wonderful. And what school is this? I am going to attend Brooklyn College. Excellent. Excellent. So this is what you're going to do, Dante. Uh, Faith, we're going to put the flyer up for the memberships and they can start to sign up right now. So add that to our um, backstage so I can put it up on the stream. Do you have any questions? Is there anyone particular? Go ahead, Faith. Uh huh. I was just saying, give me a second so I can put it up. Thank you. Um, is there, Dante, is there any one particular master class instructor are you interested in learning from? I'm interested in the uh, entertainment industry, whether it's film or TV. Okay, there's one with Ron Howard, and he's an amazing director, as you know. So you can definitely check out all the entertainment series on the Masterclass. So the um, Masterclass, when they awarded us uh, this opportunity, you don't really get to talk to the instructors. You get to watch what they're teaching and they teach really insightful stuff that they will only teach at a college or in a quote unquote master class, you know, where you pay for it. So this is a whole platform where you could actually learn from the masters without having to go anywhere outside of your home. It's an app. You can download it on your phone, all the above. So if you don't have any further questions, I'm going to bring somebody else on. Is that cool, Dante? Uh, I have no further questions. Thank you. So look out. We're going to put up the um, QR code so you can join and get your master class series. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Who else wants to ask a question or talk about master class or something of that nature? or want to see some more little cute um, commercials. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to see if Miss Linda or Miss West, Kisa, 
I think that's her name. And then you have B M. That's an acronym. And there's Deja. Deja, you reach out to me. So I'm going to bring you on and see who has a question. Deja, you don't have to come off camera. You just have to come off mute. See if she's here. Uh oh, here comes some more. And then I'm gonna add Linda. If you have any questions, hi Linda. Oh, hi, hello. Linda. Hi. hi, hi. Do you have any questions or any comments about Masterclass? Yeah, I I saw this email and I joined the session because I saw a bunch of uh, YouTube ads one time about Masterclass, and um, I. Remember these like type of classes kicking off because of the pandemic, um, but yeah, the masterclass ones. I I feel like they're really unique in that they really really try and bring in like the top experts, and so it seems pretty cool. Is there anybody in particular you're interested in learning from? Um, the uh, poet Amanda Gorman. Ooh, I'm gonna find her um, commercial because it was so amazing. She's so inspiring. I have her book. Oh my god, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, uh, I've watched several series and they have blown me away. They have taught me so much. They inspired me. So yes, Linda, are you currently in college or graduate? Where, where's your, what's your level? Where, what's your status? Yeah, I'm a senior this year. So. What school are you going to? Uh, Colgate University in upstate New York. Oh, Colgate. I know a couple of students at Colgate. Well, no it's way. nice to officially meet you in person or on virtual, I should say. So I'm super excited. So um, when Faith, Faith, are you ready to bring it up so I can um, um, at least get our students signed up? Uh, actually, fun fact, I have it, but I can't upload it. So I can send it to you. Okay, send it to me. All right. So we will get you there. Do you have any further questions or comments, Linda? Thank you for all your feedback. No, nothing for now, but thank you. You're welcome. And I appreciate you for joining us. All right. Okay. Deja, she is silent. So I'm going to just leave her just for a second. She wants to join. And then we have, um, I think the, the acronym is BM, but I don't know if, you know, that's a nickname. Hello. I don't know what this stands for, BM. How are you? Who wants their master class? And I'm gonna bring on, I'm gonna bring on Tanisha. Tanisha, can you come off camera? Let me see, do a thumbs up. All right. Okay, remove BM and then we're gonna do that. Oh, and then we have, Miss West, let me make sure you're good. Let me take off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Miss West, do you have any questions or any comments? Um, I had a question about, well, not a question, but a comment, but mm -hmm. um, I'm interested in photography. So I was wondering if I could, if you could play one of the videos Ooh. Okay, we'll play two videos right now. Okay, you can you stay on with me? Yes, yes. Okay, because we can have a conversation because I like to hear from you. What wait, where are you from and what school or if you graduated, what level where are you at? So I'm from Washington, DC. Um, I go to the University of the District of Columbia and I'm a, currently a senior. All right. What's your major? My major is health education Excellent. with a concentration in public health. So Okay, so let me get to some of the photographers. And if I scroll across one, um, you'll let me know. Um, give me a second. Because um, I really want you guys to really dive in because you can just skim. There's so many industry experts on Masterclass that you can actually not really see it all. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling. Okay, so if there's anyone in particular that you hold on, can you see my screen? How do you pronounce your first name, by the way? It's pronounced Cassia. Cassia. Yes, Cassia. Is that did I say right? Yes. Your okay. Your phone broke up. Okay, so here is a photographer. I don't want to say his name wrong, so I'm going to let him speak for himself. 
Um, let me see. I'll play this one right here. And let's see if it comes off, if it can come. Okay, get him. Mike, Mike, check two. one, two. My name, My name is Marquez Brownlee. Brownlee. I'm known, I'm known as MTBHD on, on YouTube. And I make videos to about 15, to about 15 million subscribers, million subscribers and about 3 billion, billion views. For the next, for the next 30, days, 30, 30 days, I'm going to be teaching, be teaching you all the fundamentals, all the fundamentals of cameras, cameras lenses. lenses. Just, just don't, don't drop, drop it. it. Lighting, lighting. That, that is a nice, nice lighting setup. setup. We'll learn how, how to utilize B roll, then packaging the video, and sharing. By the end of this experience, you'll have a series of videos that you love. That's pretty sweet. These step by step principles will help you start making great videos and building your channel. Peace. All right. What do you think about Marquise? I think he's very cool. It's really exciting to know, like, and meet different people because this is a, a person that I've, I haven't heard about yet. So it's really nice to um, uh -huh. to know about this. It's excellent. And while you're here, let's watch Amanda Gorman do her thing right here. I am, you know, I oodle over her. She's amazing. Let's get it playing up. Give it a second. I'll start it over. Okay, hold on. Don't worry, you guys. I got you. Okay. Uh-oh. Doing too much. Um, okay, here we go. About poetry is a huge source of power. You two can write words that will set the world on fire. We braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace. And the norms and notions of what just is, isn't always just is. You're going to learn not only how to be a great poet, but how to be a changemaker. When I was, I was first, first writing, writing poems, what, what made, made them so special to me was that, that experience of having my feelings, feelings articulated in the name on, on the page. page. I, I could verbalize what was going on in here that people, people didn't know. know. For there, there was, was always light if only we were brave enough to see it, if only we were brave enough to be it. You should write at least once every day. You can write gibberish, you can draw scarecrows, like you can do whatever, just get your pen moving. I'm going to be sharing ugly drafts with my own poems and show you what it means to perform in front of an audience. Trying to be heard, but these words don't sound right. Could I ever be in the spotlight? When I was, when I was little, little, I had, I had speech a speech impediment, impediment which made it very, very difficult for me to speak up for myself. A lot of, of my first few poems were about what, what it was like, like to be lonely because, because I, might I might not look or speak like, like the students, students around me. There's, There's always another story to write, always another person waiting on the horizon. We all can harness the power of poetry to become stronger communicators, better leaders, and also more compassionate people. I'm Amanda Gorman, and this is Masterclass. Wonderful. What do you think about that one? She's amazing. There's only one word for her, right? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And I'm just going to get cut on a couple more and then I'm going to give you guys the stream, um, the QR code and the link to actually sign up. If Faith, I know you can't because uh, you're probably on your computer right now, but can you just click the link and then I'll put the link in the chat? Is that possible? And then we can give it to them. Oh, this guy right here. Oh, her. Oh, yes. This is a uh, this right here, amazing. Some of these don't expand, so you have to, ex excuse me. Scary, Scary to, to 
advocate, advocate for, for your, your ideas, ideas when, when you, you feel, feel like, like an outsider. outsider. It, it could be, be frightening to be the dissenting voice, to have the dissenting opinion when you are the only one who looks like you in a room. And the impact of that could be that you start to shrink and you start to, you know, feel too scared to speak up. You might start to feel like you don't belong. But what I want to remind you of is your power and that there is power in your difference. Your different perspective is why you're there. The people in those rooms need your voice. They need your perspective. They need to better understand your lived experiences so that the work that you create together with your collaborators can resonate more widely with a broader range of people. Sometimes it could be scary to advocate for your ideas when you feel like an outsider. It could be frightening to be the dissenting voice, to have the dissenting opinion when you are the only one who looks like you in a room. And the impact of that could be that you start to shrink and you start to, you know, feel too scared to speak up. You might start to feel like you don't belong. But what I want to remind you of is your power and that there is power in your difference. Your different perspective is why you're there. The people in those rooms need your voice. They need your perspective. They need to better understand your lived experiences so that the work that you create together with your collaborators can resonate more widely with a broader range of people. Sometimes that's amazing. I had to hear it twice because it was just too good. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so let's get it going. And I really want to get you guys your master class for those people who are here. Uh, do you have any more questions? Um, nope. No more okay. questions. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to bring a couple more people on while I load up the flyer. All right. Let's see who else. I see Melita can't. She her device is not connected. So we're gonna try. Oh, Toya! Here we go. Toya. Hey. Oh, I'm to my friend. Hey guys. Hi. So how how do you feel about masterclass? I'm actually excited. I mean, if you know anything about me, you know I'm all over the place with my interests and my passion. So. It's pretty interesting to be able to have an opportunity to learn about it without having to, you know, pay for the class or wait to wait to do it. Excellent. And is there anybody in particular that you guys want, that you want to learn about or who you want to? No, no, I'm just happy to take any lesson I can from anyone. I feel like everyone's going to bring something unique and I hope to incorporate that. And, you know, right now, are you still in school right now? Yeah, Mount Sac. I'll be graduating in the spring 2023 and transferring somewhere else. Excellent. Excellent. And what are you pursuing in your career path? Uh, right now, my major is philosophy, and I'm hoping to take that all the way, you know, maybe be a part-time professor and work on my other passions, um, like my photography or music and writing on the side. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm super excited for you to get your master class, too. This is all for our 18 and out over um, young people and, you know, students and graduates and all people who consider themselves young. There's 88 number to number, but 18 and up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're super excited to actually award all of the participants today on the Masterclass series. So here's how you're going to do it. Um, Toya, do you have any further questions or comments? Uh, nope. Just excited to see you guys again. It's been a minute. I know. <laughs> Thank you. It's super excited to hear your voice. Thank you for joining us. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Okay. So to in, to get your master class, we're going. I'm going to show you the slide. Um, hold on just a second. And I'm uploading it right now for you guys. Um, it's going into a ping. Okay, so here it is. It's really, yeah, it's, it is because we're on the stream. That's why it's not uploading. So you have to excuse us. So 
You're going to email uh, Faith. Can you send it in a PDF? Because it's not going to upload. Send it to me in a PDF. So you're going to email Faith at ncrf. Uh, in, at um, I'm going to put it in the chat. And you're going to put that you're interested in Masterclass. And so we can get you your and the official invitation for the flyer to get it to get that master class it's super simple once you get it i upload your email to the system all you have to do is accept the invitation that's all you have to do and then you're you are you're in with master class i don't think there's um any other things you have to do because i'm looking at from the back end so I'm going, uh, Faith, what did you do when you um, accepted your master class? Did you just accept the invitation? Uh, yeah, you just go and it doesn't even ask you for any credit card information or anything. You just put in your email and whatnot and sign in. Okay. So, okay. So I'm putting this in our major chat and then I'm going to take you to the master class website so you can actually see master class and how it looks. And I'm watching a series right now with, um, oh, the scientist. Um, I don't want to say his name wrong. I am just like, I'm starstruck, you know, like it's too many, it's too many great people that I can't even, um, here it is, home, share. And this one I'm watching. Oh, he's not on here right now. Okay, wait. I am watching. Can you guys see it? This is the website. This is how it looks. Super simple. You can download it on your app. Oh, there's Shonda Rhimes too. Ooh, yes. Look at that. So many great people. Okay. Does everybody know what to do? You just email on the chat. Uh, the emails on the chat. There's so many different things that you guys can learn from. Oh, here it is. Neil deGussie, this is who to. You guys want to watch a little bit of it? Let's watch it. And if you guys know who he is, Neil deGussie um, Tyson. Faith, do you know who he is? Yes, I was probably the only middle school slash elementary school kid watching Cosmos. Um, <laughs> just because I space is, you know, it's so big and interesting and I just sat and I could watch it all day and everyone would laugh because they'd be like, why are we, why are we watching about space? <laughs> but yeah, Neil deGrasse Tyson is very interesting. It's not our fault that we're human. Being human, we all have susceptibility to a certain category of bias. They call cognitive bias. This is, these are things you think are true, but are not, and can be demonstrated to not be true. You're staring at it barefaced, and you say, I swear to you, this is how it is, and it's not. There are all manner of cognitive biases. There are some that are particularly, particularly insidious, insidious if you're, if trying, you're trying, to trying to understand what is what objectively, is objectively true. true. One of the cognitive, of the cognitive biases, biases is, that, is that you want to feel, feel special. I've spoken to people say, I always find, money, always in find money in the street. And I say, and I say okay, okay, you know what you, you, know don't, know what you find? don't find? The money that, the you, money missed. that you missed. The money that you missed. How do you know How that you, you know didn't that miss vastly, vastly more money than the money than that the you money actually spotted? In fact, you could be failing at this exercise. But that's not how that's the brain, not how the thinks, brain about thinks about it. it. You're special You're today because you found you five dollars in, in the street. You missed the ten dollars. the ten dollars under the rock. Under the rock. One block earlier. Block earlier. The urge to, the feel, urge special to feel special knows, knows no, bounds. no bounds. If there's ever, if there's a, moment ever a moment where something, where something happens, happens around, around you and you want to think, you want to it's, think special, it's special, just pause. Just pause. Chances, Chances are, are it's not. It's not. And this comes about because the human brain is not wired. To think, to think about, about probability, probability and, statistics. and statistics. It's just it's not. Just not.
What's, What's wrong, wrong with feeling, with feeling special? special? I guess, I guess in, principle, in principle, nothing. nothing. But, it's but it's not an, not accurate, an accurate understanding, understanding of, the world. of the world. And it's your, and it's choice. your choice. Do you want to live, live in a delusion of what you, what think, you is think is true? true? Or do you want to live, live in the reality, reality of, what of what is true? Is true? Here's a good Here's example. A good example. Line, up a Line up a thousand people. people. Give them a Give coin, them a coin to, flip. to flip. They flip, they the, flip coin. the coin. About half about will half get heads, heads, about half will get tails. Tail. They get tails, tell them to sit down. Sit down. How many are you left? 500. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Tails, sit down. sit down. You got 250. Flip a coin. coin. Tails, sit down. Tails, sit down. 125. Flip a coin. Flip a coin. Tails, sit down. We're down to 60. Sit down. We're down to 30. We're down to 15. We're down to 15. Down to 8. 8. 4. 4. 2. 2. 1. 1. When you do when this, you experiment, do this experiment, there's one, there's person, one person at the end, at the end that, that flipped heads, flipped heads ten, ten consecutive, consecutive times. times. Now, what, now happens? what happens? The press, the press rushes, rushes to, that, to person that person and says, says how do you feel, do you about, feel about this? this? What, and, and here's a here's common, common response. response. I sort I of felt that head's energy, energy about halfway, halfway through, through and, and I saw I the heads, heads of things this morning, and I knew I was going to win. Oh, this is wonderful. And yeah, I knew I was today was going to be special. Very, very common, common response. response. No, no, not for not this, for this experiment, experiment, for like for people like who win the lottery, lottery or something, or something. Right? right? Did the Did press, the press go, to go to anyone else, else in that, in that line, line and ask them how, they, how felt? they felt? No. No. So, so here's, the, here's bias. the bias. The bias, the bias is, is you, you think, think this person won, won and, and that, that person, person thinks, thinks that person, person won, won because, because of some sort of spiritual head energy permeating their lives that day. When, when any time you do this, do this experiment, experiment, somebody's going to flip, flip heads, heads ten, ten times, times in, a in a row. That's the That's nature, nature of, this of this experiment. experiment. The, person the person who flips, who flips I, it's just interesting. I just don't even, I, there's no way to describe it. There's a way to make notes here for your lessons. You can see, you can skip ahead. You don't have to stay in one particular box. So that is, this is masterclass. It's, it's for you. It's available. And now we're super excited to start sharing it. Um, okay. So, uh, Faith, did you download the PDF and put it there so I can give it to our I did suggest listen. Thank you. It somehow was just doing its own thing today. Hence, we're not in the studio. We are working from our wonderful laptops at home and on the go. Okay, so I'm putting it in our, I'm uploading it right now for you guys. You guys have the email also, but this will be sent to you once you email Faith. Faith, have you started receiving any emails yet? Yes, ma'am. I have one, two, seven already. Okay, I want you to send it to me right away. Because I'm going to give them their master class tonight so they can get started. There's no delay. Um, enjoy it. We are super. We just want you just to have it. Okay, we're going to make sure you got this one. And, all right. So I'm going to see if Tanisha wants to come on and say some final thoughts. Tanisha. Are you there? Yeah. I'm going to make sure she can hear. Or Raven. Raven, do you have any final thoughts? Come off camera and she give me a um, thumbs up or something. Everybody is on. Okay, here we go. I'm adding this to the stream. This is what you're going to receive from Faith when she emails you. Anybody else have any? Bianca, do you have any final thoughts? You can just come off camera real quick and give me a thumbs up. Melita, I know you can't, but let me see if you said your device is not connected. Um, and then BM, that's the acronym. I want to make sure all your questions are answered. 
So this is the flyer you guys are going to receive. And then I'm going to give you tonight, if you email faith at ncrfoundation.org, you will get your membership tonight once I am completely done with this live stream. All right. So that's it. I think that's it. I think we nailed it. Hopefully. I'm here. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Melita. Thank you. Anybody else? Have anything to say in the chat? I want to make sure this was a total, like, organic experience. It's fun. We do this on Elevate Your Game, too. We just give you prizes, give you something. All right. Anybody else have any questions in the chat or comment so I can read it out loud? Okay. Did Ma Oh, Linda. Did Masterclass reach out to y'all for this partnership? Oh, good question. No, they didn't. What happened was... I was on Instagram and masterclass popped up and I reached out to them and I applied and they got back to me because of who we are and uh, they're in contact with us now. So we're looking to see what further they actually had a question for you guys that I can um, post, uh, ask you guys right now for those who join the masterclass series to learn. They want to hear feedback from you. So we're going to do another live stream about the classes that you've taken and how it's inspired you in your career choices and just your life and what has it opened your mind to. So, Linda, did that answer your question? And are you interested in getting a master class? I'm waiting for her to respond. Yes, thank you. And would you come back and tell us what you learned? once we wait like a couple of weeks for sure she said okay she said it for sure anybody else have any comments questions all right so uh email faith right away respond join our incubators and i'll give you guys that flyer real quick to join our incubators because it's you know this is just who we are and you can get more information, click this QR code, and you can join our incubators and learn how to elevate your game. And an industry expert is going to be here next week, and his name is Dr. Patrick Dix, and he is an AI. This is he. He's advancing the world of artificial intelligence. And he is ringing the alarm about automation and artificial intelligence advancements and the efforts of the on the current and future job market. So he's really going to be expressing and to the world of in our NCRF on our NCRF channel the importance of learning the right technology skills so that you will maintain your job and advance in your careers. There's so many different people who are major in computer science and engineering, but don't know where to land. And AI and automation is really the future of a lot of jobs that are going to be obsolete for humans. So if, unless you're a skilled worker, such as, you know, a beautician or a makeup artist or, plumber, electrician, a construction worker, you know, a lot of those skilled worker jobs are going to increase because you're going to still need human interaction. But there's a lot of jobs that you just daily, even when you go to the grocery store, you notice the checkout stands, you don't even have people checking you out anymore. You're checking out yourself. Um, you go to the bank, it's going to eventually be a robot. So, you know, a teller, or you don't even have to be there. It's going to be digital banking. So, there's so many different things you're going to learn from this um, professor who is an educator in the AI space. And, and he is an industry expert, not as known as some of those in master class, but he, do, he does work in that space where it influences those who you're learning from. Um, uh, so we actually have a little commercial. Oh, we do. Go. Can you upload it? Uh, it's already there. You just have to put it okay, on. Okay, great. Where is it? Let me see. Let me see. See, 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 see. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. Hold on just a second. Automation or to bring me on to speak at your university association or organization, contact me, Dr. Dix, at automationawareness.com. Okay, let me go from the beginning. 
For more information about automation or to bring me on to speak at your university, association, or organization, contact me, Dr. Dix, at automationawareness.com. Well, that's him right there. He's a consultant and works in that space. And I met him through some of his work that he was doing and talking about being interviewed on um, social media and other platforms. And I reached out to him on LinkedIn and said, hey, I'm very interested in what you have to say. And I think this would be a positive, um, this is positive information to share with our, our students. So that being said, we went long enough. We went over an hour. You guys are gonna get your masterclass if you emailed no further questions. My name is Mrs. Denise Parker. I am the manager of internship for the National College Resources Foundation, and I am here to serve yeah. you. Uh, me and my my wonderful staff, Faith. Faith, I think you have a little feedback, so I'm going to remove you just a second. Say bye, Faith. Bye to everybody. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your guys' evening. Good evening. And for that being said, we're here to motivate you, elevate your game, and also inspire you. Today was a little crazy because we were trying to show some of the snippets of Masterclass. So thank you for bearing with us with all our technical difficulties. Um, you will get an email back. Are we supposed to get an email back? Nope, you don't have to. We'll just send it to you. You can email us within 24 hours if you did not receive your membership. I only have a certain amount. So the first 498 or 97 that are left, they're going to get it for those who respond. And I'm going to keep um, reaching out to those who come to our incubators and um, our incubator sessions, which are these, our Elevate Your Game session series, and those who want to continue to get support from our National College Resources Foundation, Internships and Careers Department, myself and my wonderful experts, Miss faith and also we have raven bianca here who volunteer from you know out of the goodness of their heart we help you guys with your resume your linkedin coaching and jobs um trying to keep you aware what's happening out there in the world so that you guys have the inside track and we connect you to industry experts so this this session was about the grant we received and how we can distribute it so thank you um as soon as you get your master class um, the invitation, just just open it up and just explore, have fun. Again, my name is Mrs. Denise Parker, and this is National College Resources Foundation's television series called Elevate Your Game. We're here to see you excel from college, careers, and beyond. Thank you for joining us, and you have a wonderful day.